Okay, welcome back. So tonight we have the latest new gun news coming at you in the form of the Slovenian Wonder Company A-Rex Arms. I, like many of you, learned of A-Rex when they personally invited a number of YouTube gun celebrities like James Reeves of TFB TV and Mac from the Military Arms Channel to Slovenia to personally test their double action, single action, hammer fired steel frame pistol named the A-Rex Rex-01 and to tour their factory. At first glance, many of us, including James, thought that this pistol was just a knockoff of the illustrious Sig Sauer P226 and didn't give it much thought. Turns out that both presumptions were dead wrong. A-Rex manufactures everything in-house from barrels to frames and components and has a stellar reputation for producing the highest quality products, not just firearms. Developing manufacturing lines, tooling for other companies, as well as 50% of their work is done for third-party defense companies, A-Rex is the cream of the crop when it comes to European firearms production and tooling and engineering and manufacturing. In terms of the A-Rex Rex-01, it won the most notoriety prior to the Slovenia trip when Max subjected it to his famous gauntlet test in 2016, pitting it against the Sig Sauer P226. It had but one malfunction for the whole battery of tests. Dirt got between the hammer and the firing pin on one trigger pull, and on the next trigger pull, it cleared itself and fired. To date, no other pistol, I repeat, no other pistol has performed better. That's how good it was. And now on to this updated Gen 2 version of the A-Rex Delta scheduled to release sometime in quarter one of 2021. A-Rex has taken a great double action striker fired pistol and improved it to meet the demands of an evolving pistol shooting landscape. I'll let them explain fully just what a double action striker fired pistol entails as it's quite a novel concept to most of us single action striker fired guys. I'll put it up on the screen so you can read what their description uh, is. Next up, the most notable change includes the rollout of three different sizes named the M, the X, and the L. For most of us, the M is similar in size to a G19, the X is like a G19X, and the L is like a G17. The M and the X, as you'd imagine, both have four inch barrels and the L has a four and a half inch barrel. The M comes with a 15 and 17 round mag, while the X and the L come with a 17 and 19 round mag, respectively. All of these models are offered with just irons or with what Arix calls a universal reflex optics platform or Arix optics ready slide and five, yes, count them five different plates to mount just about any red dot sight on the market today. I'm gonna to include the image from A-Rex for reference. I was gonna start describing all of the different red dots that are offered via these mounting plates, but it would just be too exhaustive. It's, it's a very long list, it's impressive. So a nice feature is that the rear iron sight remains on the slide regardless of which red dot is mounted. A pet peeve of mine personally in my competition gun, the SIG P320 Legion X5, which doesn't let you have the rear iron on at the same time as the red dot. I'm not sure why they did that. Users of the Gen 1 Delta complained that the checkered grip was too abrasive so for Gen 2, A-Rex has changed out the triangle grip pattern to a more user-friendly stippled sandpaper grip. Notably, they have the stippled sandpaper grip on all four sides of the grip, and all edges of the four sides of the grip are smoothed out. A-Rex's explanation for this is to reduce grabbing on a garment uh, when using the Delta Gen 2. Nothing is mentioned about an updated trigger pull weight or updated trigger. So I looked back and Such did a review of the Gen 1 Delta pistol this year and he threw his uh, Lyman trigger gauge on that pistol and he reported pull weights of 4 pounds 10 ounces and 4 pounds 8 ounces, which either which are 
extremely impressive and uh, I, I would have no problem using a trigger with that pull weight. Next up, and most in interesting to me personally, AREC says, and I quote, modular design enables you to customize the firearm to your needs and preferences. Removable front and rear frame inserts incorporate slide guides and hold the complete fire control mechanism, yet only the front insert is a serialized part that must remain with the firearm while everything else may be customized or exchanged if necessary or desired. This is interesting to me because obviously SIG won the military contract with their serialized fire control unit, but that's not the case with AREX. It's a front insert that's a serialized part. This unique design aspect obviously intrigued me, so I searched to find a picture of this serialized front insert or any images, videos, or descriptions of the front and rear frame inserts fire control mechanism, or slide guides, and I came up with Zilch at this time. So I'm guessing that just since this is such a new release and such a new uh, product that there's going to be more information to come as the time gets closer to the release, I'm hoping. Uh, I hope that they will provide a more detailed description and explanation of these various components and how they fit together. So wrapping up, four back straps come with the pistol for personalized hand fitment, Standard fare by now for most new pistol releases. A pick rail for accessory mounting, lights, lasers, you know the drill. Front and rear slide serrations, the same great iron sights as the Gen 1, and a flared magwell, which is new, round out the improved features on the Gen 2 Delta. It's offered in Gunsmoke Gray, Standard Black, and Flat Dark Earth. Uh, it's honestly hard to find anything that AREX hasn't thought of and addressed with this extremely impressive update. Although 2020 isn't over yet, 2021 is already giving and just keeps giving in terms of new firearms releases. And at this point, AREX is playing Slovenian Santa Claus to us in the US. As always, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think of the new AREX Delta Gen 2. And if you've owned a Delta Gen 1 or even an AREX Rex 01, I'd love to hear your comments and experiences with either of those firearms. Thanks for joining me on the journey. Hope you enjoyed this. LW Road, out.